flight plans. So how are you gonna enter a flight plan? We come over, press the flight plan button. We see this page come up, this big page. It's empty right now. What we do is we come down, push the uh, front of this FMS knob. We see this line uh, highlighted, and then we're gonna enter our points that we wanna travel through in chronological order starting from where we're at. So in this example, I'm gonna pretend like I'm actually on the ground at, um, at uh, I-17, which is Pickwell Hartzell Field. So let me go ahead and put that first point in. So that's where I'm at, and then I'm gonna sequence my waypoints in chronological order after that. All right, so I have the line highlighted. I'll go to this inner knob. This other window pops up, but that's where I'm gonna enter in the points. So it's it's not K, it's I, big knob, it goes over. I'm gonna to go to the left because the numbers are on that side. Big knob over, little knob, seven. I see Pickwell Hartzell in Pickwell, Ohio. Yeah, that's what I want. I press enter and then that inputs it there. Now the next waypoint that I wanna to go to, we'll say is Dayton Airport. So I'll use the little knob, I move it over, this waypoint box comes up, I put in K, big knob, go over, D-A-Y. See there, big knob goes over, A, big knob over, and I'm gonna go to the left because it's a shorter distance to get around the alphabet one way or the other. So I'm gonna go left, I'm gonna to get to Y faster. You don't have to do this, I'm just saying. And then that's the airport I want to go to, enter. So there I have a flight plan set up. That's a real simple flight plan. But maybe I wanted to, or I forgot to appoint, and I want to add a point into my flight plan. What I need to do is, is I want to add a point in between I-17 and Dayton. So I'm going to go up here and select this line here. And then when I enter a point now, it's gonna go above that. So let's enter in the Dayton VOR. Say that's a, a VOR I wanna fly over on my way to Dayton from Piqua. So what I'll do is and now I'll go small knob over and the Dayton VOR is DQN. Big knob, move it over. Q is toward the end over here, so I'm gonna go left. Big knob comes over, and then I'm going to select N. Okay, Dayton, Ohio. I see the VOR symbol right there. That's what I want. And then we also see it right down here. So DQN, does that make sense? Sure does. Enter, and then now it, it put it up there. And so since I wasn't already actively going to a point, now I need to start. So what we want to do is go back up to this first waypoint and now press direct enter and activate so then now we could see here um, what what's gonna happen we're gonna go first we're gonna start from this I-17 then the next one we're gonna go to is Dayton VOR and then Dayton <clears throat> and we could see it over here on this point uh, right now I'm actually flying so I'm flying toward Piqua DQN and then uh, should be able to move this over and then moving our selector we could sequence through these points Ooh, didn't want to do that and go back up here uh, if you do something like that so I accidentally uh, went over there I just press clear and then it moved it back so anyway what I'm what I'm trying to show you is that if I move this cursor, whatever I'm highlighted at, it's sort of lagging behind now, but whatever I highlight, that'll be, the, it'll, it'll allow us to look at that point. Um, now, if we want to cancel or remove a waypoint, all we have to do is highlight it. So I don't want the DQN, so I go up there, I highlight it, I press clear, remove DQN, I'll press OK, so I'll just press Enter. And then now that's gone from our flight plan, we're going to go from our present position to I-17, then to Dayton. 
Hey, hope you see value from watching this video. If you'd like to learn more from me, I invite you to take advantage of a free 14-day trial of Flight Labs Mastery Programs. And inside, you're gonna learn how to take control of your training, elevate your flying skill, and experience a new level of confidence in the cockpit. So, link for that's in the description below. Check it out, and I'll see you on the next video. See ya!